Hello there. I'm Scotty. You're not. Um, so let's talk about No Hard Feelings. I came across this movie, this trailer for the movie on social media. Out of nowhere, it popped up. And I was like, this is a raunchy comedy starring Jennifer Lawrence about a woman who is down on money and is going to be paid by this couple to date their 19-year-old college-age son. 19-year-old son. Not just date him, but date him. And I saw this and I went, this looks interesting. Now, a thought had crossed my mind that perhaps there might be some nudity. Can't say it didn't cross my mind, but ultimately, much like with like Megan's bot, Megan, uh, name, Jennifer's body, I resigned myself to probably not, but it could be a fun comedy anyway. What was I wrong? Um, I didn't expect any, actually. Like I said, like it crossed my mind, but I didn't really expect it. I just, this looked like a fun little raunchy comedy. What I did not expect was Jennifer Lawrence finding off teenagers while naked because they stole her clothes. Like, it gets to this point in the movie where she and the, and the guy are on the beach and she takes the clothes off. And of course, it doesn't show anything, just above the neck, above the, you know. I'm like, okay, I get it. She didn't want to show anything, that's fine. They go in the water and then these teenagers show up and steal their clothes and she comes out. I'm like, and all of a sudden, from afar, you could see something. And I'm like, and then she's just butt-ass naked. Taking down these these kids for stealing their clothes. It's really just, and it's the only nudity that she does. Like, on, on the thing, it's a graphic nudity. But sometimes that can just mean you get a dick in your face or an ass or something, you know. And you get those graphic nudity things. Like, you just, like, the, the hangover has graphic nudity. And what do you get? Chow's bush in your face, right? Or Alan's ass, right? I saw so I'm like, okay, it's going to be something stupid. But, well, it was stupid. It was interesting to see that. Because I didn't think she'd actually do nude scenes. So it's, you know, like I said, it crossed my mind. But it wasn't the only reason why. I watched this. I didn't say, oh, I'm going to see naked Jennifer Lawrence. No, it was, you know, I generally thought this was going to be a fun comedy. So, and it was a fun, raunchy comedy. But this does feel like something out of like a 2000, 2000s uh, com raunchy comedy thing. Like, you know, and think about this, though, with this premise of a 30-something-year-old woman being paid by a 19-year-old's parents to have sex with him, basically. You know, to kind of get him to come out of his shell and all that stuff. Basically what it is. If you reverse that, and it was a 30-something-year-old man being talked to by a 19-something-year-old... A or a 19... 19-year-old girl's parents... It would be very different. You would look at it in a different way. You would be like, no, oh, no, this, this this isn't right. But because it's the other way around and men are less vulnerable, men are less, I mean, we're vulnerable, but men are less, we're treated differently than women. I feel like women are protected more than men, I want to say. I, you know, I'm not saying anything. Women can kick just as much ass as men, but... I do feel like, you know, most of the time with the situation when it's a man versus a woman, the man gets shit on and the woman gets... Think of this, right? When they get divorced, who gets the kids and the house and all the stuff and who gets shit on? The women get the kids and the house and, you know, that stuff. And the men, screw them. They got to pay alimony. They got to pay uh, child support. But the women, they get all the good stuff, right? protected so so yeah so i feel like men can handle some things more than 
women could, and also they would I think they would look down on this movie if it was the other way around. You know what I mean? But it does work. And at first, when it when it was going towards the ending, I had I was a little iffy on the ending really because I felt like I don't know. So, like I said, the premise is basically the first scene is what the trailer shows where this guy who she used to date is, her name is Maddie, by the way, who used to date is taking her car because she owes a lot of money. Basically, the thing is she's living in her mom's house. She's having problems paying the bills, basically. She's an Uber driver and she works at a bar. She's got these two friends. Uh... One's pregnant, and the other is, is her pregnant friend's boyfriend, husband, whatever. And <clears throat> so she's working at this bar, and then this guy takes a car, and, you know, it's basically the scene verbatim from the trailer, where it's like, she's like, oh, you know, I was just saying I miss that fucker. And then the guy comes out, and he's like, yeah. She's like, yeah, did, just tell him it wasn't here. He goes, yeah, I could do that. Because it's not going to be here. Because he saw this guy. She goes, no, that's my... He's, he's like, no, it's my cousin. He's like, buongiorno, my Italian cousin. And she comes up and he grabs her boobs. And he's like, she's like, my second cousin. Like, trying to convince him. But, you know, the Italian part wasn't in the But that's... And I'm just like, okay, what is this? And then the way it, more I went out, I'm like, this is an interesting premise for a movie. Right? And I'm like, I want to see where this goes. I want to see this movie. Not just because it implied nudity, because, you know, that's a plus on top of everything, but, you know, nudity always makes the movie better. But, depending on what kind of nudity, you want some old woman, I don't know. But anyway, it it's not even like I saw the nudity part and went, oh, I was more like shocked that it was full frontal. You know, like a top of the scene, maybe, but this was full frontal. She was fighting these kids. I don't want to keep talking about it, but it's actually a great scene, nudity or not. Where she's just kicking these teenagers' asses, man. Just, but the fact I think the fact that she is naked doing it makes the scene better because again, when you're naked, you it's meant to be you're naked, you're nude, you're vulnerable. And she's just taking that and she's flipping it around on them. She, you know, because they're taking her clothes, right? They're taking her clothes. They're making her feel vulnerable. Usually in comedy, you'd be like seeing them sneak around. and they're all, No, she come out there and she kicked their ass. That's actually a pretty good scene. The nudity is just part of it. But I'll go to Jennifer Lawrence. And she does a great job in this movie. And the, the actor, I'm sorry, I don't know his name. Let's see if I can find it on the back of this thing. Um, Andrew Barth Feldman, who plays Percy, he's good too. He gets some of the more comedic moments, like when they go to some place and order iced teas, which is the joke has been done before. It was on that '70s show where he drinks iced tea. And he's like, Phew. you know, we're on there. That she's kept drinking it. You know, the whole "I have an iced tea" joke and it's a Long Island iced tea. It's been done pretty much to death, but here. It works, and she gets them to come out of her shell. But of course, it's one of those things you've seen where it's the liar revealed story, right? He finds out the parents are offering the Buick to her to have sex with him, basically, and he finds out, and I said that, but and he crashes the thing, and then goes to have sex with her, but. He arrives early, let's say, which was teased earlier in the film, but happens. Uh, she wipes it off. She gets this stuffed lobster thing and wipes it off, and she just goes like this, and then puts it back. And I'm like, now you can't just do that with that stuff, okay? You can't just do that. It's not all going to come off one wipe. Trust me, I know. No, I didn't arrive early. I'm just. It's called pulling out. Okay. I'm just saying. We didn't have any condominiums. So I had to be creative. Hey, she didn't get pregnant. That time. But I'm just saying. 
Anyway. Anyway. Let's do that again. Okay. One more time. All right. Anyway. Yeah. And then, like, they basically, they break it off. And, of course, you know what's going to happen. Uh, but it goes in a way that's kind of unexpected. She, well, it's sort of expected. She builds herself back up. She earns the money. And she decides she's going to sell the house and move to California. And she reconciles with, I'm going to call him Samuel. I don't know why. He reminds me of Sacrifice, Sacrifice Samuel. It's hard to say. Hey, lay off. Lay off Bella Thorne for not being able to say Sacrifice Samuel. Sacrifice Samuel. Sacrifice Samuel. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Uh, from the babysitter. But Percy. He recon she reconciles with Percy. And uh, they decide to be friends. They don't get back together as a couple. And you can say, well, um, Scotty, she's 32 and he's 19. Yeah, well, Jennifer Lawrence is actually 33, but when she filmed this, she was 32. But Percy is 21. But if you're over 18, age is just a number. To me, you know. I mean, if you're 60 dating a 21-year-old, that's something else. But 32 and 19 is not that far apart, really. I mean, it's... I'm going to do my head. It's going to hurt my head. But it's... You know, it's legal, right? It's legal. <clears throat> I'm also very confused. It's it's a minor issue, and it's not a, you know, anything. But she was full frontal earlier in the film. But during the sex scene, she's got a bra on. And I'm just like, so she was, but did she only have, like, one nude scene in the contract? Is that what, I'll do one. And so they wrote that scene. You know, I mean, it's, oh, I'm doing that scene, but I'm doing no more. If that's the case, I would have been fine with just covering it up. But then again, I have an ounce best. And the question was shooting earlier. But to show that she's still wearing a bra, you got a butt cheek. But like, might not even be hers. But, you know, I don't know. It's just iffy sometimes. Like, it's like uh, Wishmaster 4, right? You get the sex scene at the beginning, but when she's with the Wishmaster later, she's got a bra on. And it's like, Oh, we just saw her butt ass naked in the beginning of this, and now she's, you know, it's very weird. But then again, they can only have one, might have only one nude scene in the contract. I'm not saying I wanted more. I mean, it's been okay, but I, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying it's weird when they do that. But yeah, so they reconcile and they decide to be friends, and she drives into Princeton, I guess. And when she gets this dog that they were talking about at the beginning of the movie, Milo, who was a former police dog who was addicted to cocaine. Every time we say cocaine, it freaks out. So that that's sort of a running joke because it happens once when she's there and she because he spells it out and she says cocaine and the dog freaks out. And then later when she goes back to talk to him, he's not there, but his buddy who works there is a dick to her, so she yells out, Cocaine! She ends up adopting that dog. And it's funny because she plays it off, I got a new boyfriend. He's like, Really? So he still cares about her that way. She's like, yeah, he used to be a cop. You want to meet him? He's like, no. And then he, she opens the door and the dog comes out. He's like, Milo! But, uh, yeah, and then the movie ends. But Oh, and the parents, I don't know who play, who the actress was that played the mom, but Matthew Broderick with a weird hairstyle. It's like a going back. I don't know what he was doing. Um, speaking of age difference, I, I think... The actress who played the mom was 44. Broderick is 61. So, yeah, I, I think they did it on purpose to try to say, you know, it's weird that it's a 32-year-old dating a 19-year-old. A but look, his parents are, you know, of a very different age. So, yeah. I actually really enjoyed this. More than I thought I actually would. I thought it was just going to be a stupid comedy. Because some of the other trailers I was seeing, TV spots were just like, okay, this is looking kind of dumb. But there are some, there's some dumb shit in this, you know. But they don't go overboard with the, with the, with the jokes. Where you could do, like if Will Ferrell started in, it, st started in this, 
I think it would be, you know, that where lesser comedians like Will Ferrell, I'm sorry, I don't like Will Ferrell, it would overdo it. And even like some of the Marvel movies and stuff where you do a joke and then you take it one step further and that step further is too far. One of those things, they don't really do that here, you know? Uh, but, I don't know, there is one awkward moment where she's trying to come on to him. She takes him back to her place and she's, they're dancing. She's dancing, she's twerking the hot in here and she's making him smack his ass and then she sits on his lap and then she make, and he sits on her lap, which is weird because, I don't know, it's awkward, it's not, you know, bad or anything. But yeah, I'm going to say this is pretty, 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 pretty good. I actually enjoyed this quite, quite a bit. So, what are your thoughts on No Hard Feelings? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> I've been Scotty. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, before you go, I almost clicked it. Um, so, I said there was two movies I wanted to do today, which I did. Technically, it's still Friday, right? Um, there's one more movie that I got that I didn't realize was out because it's not. Walmart released Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse early. It wasn't, it's not supposed to come out until this coming Tuesday, but it's already out. I know because I tried to put the code in on Voodoo and it wouldn't work <clears throat> because it's not ready yet. So, that will be eventual reality, but I want to, I want to work on the, the movies based on TV shows because, well, I realized that there are two Live action Scooby Doo movies I've yet to talk about yet. And I feel like I need to talk about those next. That'll be tomorrow when I get a chance. Because I have to go get some grocery supplies. So after that, then. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.